uh, question six says, a newspaper in Germany reported that the more semesters needed to complete an academic program at the university, the greater the starting salary in the first year of a job. The report was based on a study that used a random sample of 24 people who had recently completed an academic program. Information was collected on the number of semesters each person in the sample needed to complete the program and the starting salary in thousands of euros uh, for the first year of job. The data are shown in a scatter plot below. All right, so here's our scatter plot. Does the scatter plot support the newspaper's report about number of semesters and starting salary? Justify your answer. So this is asking if this scatter uh, plot reports that, or is consistent with, the more semesters needed to complete an academic program at a university, the greater the starting salary. So it's basically asking, is there a positive association between those two variables? So maybe a way we could uh, justify our answer. The, the answer is yes, and a way to justify it is we could describe this scatter plot. So let's do that. All right. Does the scatter plot support the newspaper's report about the semesters and starting salary? Yes. The scatter plot reveals a, and when we're describing a scatter plot, the acronym we use to remember how to describe it is DOOFS. So we need to describe the direction, any outliers we see, the form, and the strength. Scatter plot reveals a, a moderately, yeah, let's just go with moderate. I'm not going to go moderately strong. It is kind of just a, a blob there, but it's definitely positive. Reveals a moderate positive linear relationship between number of semesters, uh, number of semesters, required to complete an academic program and starting salary and starting salary. I don't think we actually need the in thousands of euros here. All right. Um, so let's make sure we answer this. Does the scatter plot support the newspaper report about number of semesters and starting salary? Yes, the scatter plot, uh, okay, so we basically described the scatter plot. We didn't talk about outliers, I think we'll be okay. Um, this means, or this relationship means as number of salaries increases, number of semesters increases, we would expect starting salary to increase. All right. Part B, uh, let's see, the table below shows computer output from a linear regression analysis on the data. Identify the slope of the least squares regression line and interpret the slope in context. So the constant coefficient is the y-intercept. So the slope is right here for the variable semesters. So we could say the slope is 1.1594, period. Interpret the slope in context. For each one unit, for each, um, for each additional semester, required to complete an academic program, we expect a, all right, so this slope is in thousands of euros, so I would multiply this by a thousand, and we get 1,159.5. Euro increase in starting salary. Having the word expect here is really important, so we're not implying causation. All right. Part 
start seeing the twist. Um, an independent researcher received the data from the newspaper and conducted a new analysis by separating the data into three groups based on the major of each person. A revised scatter plot identifying the major of each uh, person is shown below. All right, so we've got business majors, physics majors, and chemistry majors. Uh, when you look at these separately, it's actually the opposite trend of what we saw in the um, unseparated scatter plot. So this, this seems to be a negative trend for all three majors. Based on the people in the sample, describe the association between starting salary and number of semesters for the business majors. So right now we're just talking about the business majors. Um, this we're going to use a doofs again. All right. And just describe that one little part of the scatter plot. Um, there is a moderately strong negative linear relationship. All right, so we got direction, that's the negative part. Um, form is linear, and strength is a moderately strong relationship between number of required semesters and starting salary. All right, based on the sample, describe the association. So we described the association as a moderately strong negative linear relationship. We should probably explain what that means. We expect as number of required semesters increases, the starting salary decreases. All right. Um, part D is Based on the people in the sample, compare the median starting salaries for each of the three majors. Okay, the median can be found when you order the data from least to greatest. Uh, so for finding the median starting salaries, for the business majors, for example, the minimum starting salary was this value right here, which maybe that looks about 32 or so. Let's see how many business majors there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's eight business majors, so the median, the median is going to be found between the fourth and the fifth value when you order them from least to greatest. So here's least, second least, third least, fourth least. So the median is right between those two dots. So maybe for the business majors, the median, uh, let's go with, 37.5. All right, for physics majors, we have eight of them as well, so it's going to be between the fourth and fifth lowest values. One, two, three, four, and there's five, so between those two, um, I'm comfortable saying that's 48. And for computer, or for chemistry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, again. And here's the lowest, second lowest, third lowest, fourth lowest, fifth lowest. So it's between those two. So it's like right around 55. Okay. Uh, when we make a comparison, we need to do more than just report these medians. We need to actually compare them. So the lowest median starting salary was the business majors at about um, 37,500 euros, period. Uh, next was the physics majors with the median of about 48,000 euros. Period. 
finally, the, the greatest median in the three majors was chemistry at about 55,000 euros. All right. Part E. Based on the analysis conducted by the independent researcher, how could the newspaper report be modified to give a better description of the relationship between the number of semesters and the starting salary for the people in the sample? Okay. Um, basically, we've noted that there's a negative relationship for the three majors. And we're just trying to describe the... relationship between number of semesters and starting salary for people in the sample. However, on these last parts, it's usually good to use information discovered in other parts. In, in Part D, we learned that some majors are just making more money than other majors as starting salaries. Uh, and then in Part C, we discovered that the relationship between number of semesters and starting salary is negative. Uh, so that certainly needs to be said. Maybe we could say, for business, physics, and chemistry majors, majors, the relationship between a uh, number of semesters and starting salary for people in the sample was negative. The relationship uh, for people in the sample was a negative association. Meaning, for all three majors, as number of semesters increased, starting salary tended to decrease. Um, maybe the way we could get in uh, some of the, what we saw in Part D about the median salaries just being different. Um, in Part E, as we could say, this relationship was originally masked, or was originally... This relationship was originally unclear as the different majors have different median starting times. Uh, starting salaries. All right. I'm worried I'm missing something because this seemed like a fairly easy question six.